going on guys um it's your boy franklin i hope you can see me anyway so um i'm gonna crack on if you come online if you can see me just uh give me a thumb up okay um a simple man um a caring man is a simpleton you know i get that a lot i've had several in the past weeks because of some of my content that i put out i've had tons and tons of um you know emails from guys from several people who have um had opinions and said you know they think guys are guys who, who they consider to be you know um too caring or too nice towards you know, women are regarded as simple things and stuff like that. So that's been on my mind. And if you notice, there is the um, movement going at the moment called, um, if you can see me, say hello. Let me know you can see me. Anyway, there's been a movement going on where you've got this uh, men going their own way, uh, which is the MG uh, TOW movement which is basically men doing for themselves. And, um, hey, how you doing, bro? I King Bad Day or Lua Kemi. Hi, Kemi. Um, thank you for joining, you know. And, um, yeah, so these led to me wanting to have a brief chat about this. So um, a caring man, you know, in the, like, as I said, in the past weeks, I've had tons and tons of emails from people saying, um, um, I'm pandering towards women and all stuff like that. And this is not me um, dwelling on that. Some of them, I ignore their, you know, their messages and stuff. And, you know, and some of them, I take time to re reply them, to hopefully try to educate them and hopefully help them to change their reasoning. And some of these as gives a major insight into the black community. And it, unfortunately, with the way some of us are wired as tease. How you doing? Hi. Hello from Minneapolis. So, you know, people talk about, um, um, you know, a caring guy. So you're expected to um, have this hard guy, tough guy, don't give a toss type of persona and, you know, and, and, and stuff. So I, I want to talk about a couple of things. I was saying just now that this, from my point of view, is, gives a major insight into the black community and the way um, some of us men have been, um, you know, mentally, unfortunately, mentally tailored or wired to um, to think a man who is caring towards maybe his woman, like in a marriage, you have your wife, you know, your significant other, and then you, you're you nice to them, you're catering to their feelings and, you know, what you should do. And you're, you're regarded as a, a simple thing by the dictionary um, definition, um, is seen as a foolish man, a dullard, you know, um, a nincompoop, you know, um, one who's not right up there. And um, I personally disagree. In fact, it ticks me off, it gets on my nerves because um, I've had a few guys, I've had to block a couple of them when I made videos in the past and stuff and they just, all they do is they jump from comment section to comment section with what I regard as so much toxicity and then they are always saying, oh, you're pandering to women, oh, you are, you're a simp, you know, simp is like a slang, a shot in front of simpleton, you know, like uh, basically uh, you're a simp, you, you, you're, you're, you're pandering to women, you want women to be on your side, type of thing and as i normally say i'm the type of dude that i like to be objective i'm thoroughly aware of the complexity and the evilness and the goodness that goes on in the world that we live in but i like to be objective and i look at how you know the world is wired and stuff i think it would be unfair to have a blanket approach to you know all women imagine if a, a, there's a good woman out there and say maybe in the past She's been broken hearted. She's been let down. I mean, it's natural for that woman to be apprehensive in terms of getting back into, into another relationship. But do you think it would be fair if you are a brand new guy and you come across, uh, you know, that woman and then she has a stereotypically generated perception of you with preconceived notions that you are up to no good. You are, you are, you are, 
you're a bad guy or you're trying to just get between the legs or maybe steal the resources and stuff like that. I'm sure you'd be angry and you'd be like, man, she hasn't even given me a chance. And why, why does she think I'm a bad guy? Because she, a previous dude had broken her heart and stuff, you know? So why is it okay? And, and I think it's one of the words that's now been bastardized um, with the internet, YouTube and all those platforms. I personally, as a dude, I'm talking now purely as a guy, I, you know, I sit down and I sometimes look at comment sections and I've observed there is a ton of toxicity, which if you look at these things, you know, it, it gives you an insight into how the rapid damage that's just basically filtering and going through our society and eating people up. There's a whole lot of myth and misconceptions. People are filled to the brain with negativity. Like, I'm telling you, like, I've heard some dudes say, um, uh, you know, if, if they hear that you're taking care of your family, you're taking care of your wife, you're putting bread on the table, like, um, hey, man, listen, bro, um, um, hey, I've got to go home to the to the missus. We're having dinner tonight. We're watching a, we are, you're, you're watching a, uh, a movie tonight. I'm like, dude, you're a simp. You know, I've had that thrown in my direction. I've had some dudes take out their time and send me emails. And initially, it would piss me off. It would get on my nerves. But then I took a step back and I started, you know, sort of researching and started trying to see from their, you know, from their point of view. And thank you, uh, Chine. And then you realize that the toxicity that people throw out. And I'm, 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 I try to be objective. Some some men or some people they they come out with those things perhaps due to a previous you know pretty ugly experience that they've had with a woman who is probably probably cheated on them or stole their money you know treated them in an unfair manner that relationship ended acrimoniously and that's of course it's natural it's understandable that that sort of gets you edgy makes you perhaps have a dislike for the opposite sex or have some sort of um, preconceived notion. In fairness, I can understand why people would be like, it, it works both ways, both men and women. If you've been treated badly in the past, it makes you kind of have a, you know, ugly perception of the other side and you're very careful and stuff. But having said that, you, you know, to suggest that a man meets a woman and genuinely the relationship is functioning properly and because you're maybe that's your homeboy and that guy can't sit down with you to have drinks with you and say hey boy hey, listen bro i'm gonna hang out with you guys i'm just gonna spend uh, two two hours i've got to shoot back to pick my woman you know we need to go look at a dress or or we would try we're cooking tonight and stuff like that and then you think oh man you're a simp man you know somebody was telling me this crap about um you know um um sometimes if your wife says to you that, you know, like maybe she moves to you and says she wants, she wants, maybe she wants some action. She wants to make love to you. She wants you to make love to her. She wants to have you guys to make love. You know, sometimes it's okay for you to, to just say no, you know, that, that basically gives that impression of a tough guy. No, it doesn't. You're stupid. I'm sorry to use that language, but that's just is ridiculous. So let me understand this logic. Your relationship, you are in a relationship with someone you claim to love, right? You amalgamated your feelings with that person. And then, so your significant older, it's not like you're genuinely tired and you say, oh, babe, um, you know, let's wake up in the morning and do something. And then you, you basically, and then you basically just deliberately, that to me, that's a classic example of, um, so basically you withhold lovemaking to your partner because you're trying to prove a point that you're a tough guy. No, you're a weak minded, crusty idiot. Because that to me just shows you're a weak man. And 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 if there is a better word for that, that's emotional abuse. Somebody who is sexually attracted to you, that's your wife. Or maybe that's your husband. So you use that love making sex as a weapon because you want to prove a point that you're tough. There are several other ways. That's emotional abuse. That's emotional manipulation. There are several other ways that you can um you can, you know, be assertive. You can you can put your fit down and let somebody know that, you know, hey, I'm the dude around here, or I'm not gonna accept A, B, C, and D because of such and such and such. But this whole idea of um 
you're going to deprive your partner of sex so that you can know that, oh, you're the, you're the, you're the, you're the, you're the big guy around here. You know, you can really. And this is what I say. That's how you start to self-sabotage. That's self-sabotaging. This is how a lot of people start to deliberately, you know, self-sabotaging their relationship. You start to leave cracks in your own marriage, in your own relationship, and you damage it. Because how long are you going to play checkers with your partner's feelings for? And in my own opinion, this is what this is what I believe. This is Franklin, okay? Everyone has got right to whatever they want to believe in. If you find it credible, if you find it worthy to amalgamate your emotional feelings with some other party and you say i want to be with you i love you i like i like you i'm interested in you you know let's let's start dating let's get married and stuff like that then like they say something that's worth doing is worth doing properly i get it some relationships are bound to end acrimoniously you get out of the relationship and you move on and you might find love and happiness in the you know in the next one great stuff but for you to suggest that because a man's caring, because there are two sides to a coin. This is why I'm desperately trying to understand this foolishness. It's, it's either you are caring or you're not caring. There is no in-between. So the, these things like, yeah, hi, hi, Kay Ferguson. It's like a crazy, really toxic movement that's out there. And... Um, you know, as soon as you say, hey, hey, dude, you know, it's unfair to put your hand on a woman. Oh, oh, dude, you're a simp. Oh, yo, you're a simp, man. Oh, this is... No, genuine love is hard to find today, bro. That is part of the problem. Christopher, I love that statement. You know what? You know that thing when you say genuine love is hard to find? I get what you mean, but can I just answer that very quickly? Genuine love or let me say true love, you build true love. This is why I said in a video about marriage is an empty box. There is all, always a level of affection or a level of love that you, you start with. You, 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 there's something that draws you, both parties together, right? You love them, you like them for whatever reason. But for a long lasting love, you're gonna go through trials and tribulations. You're going to have to put the work in. You will earn the other parties love you earn both each other's trust and love you grow together there is that full-blown love you can't get that within a month or two months of dating or being with someone it's absolutely impossible it takes time you build together man you get to know them you get to cry together you get to put your heads together you see them at their most vulnerable part and you earn and that's why you see people oh we've been together for 12 years we've been together for eight years we've been together for 15 years for 25 years in 25 years so much has happened a truckload of bs oh we've been married for 40 years it's not a joke to see the same person every day sleep next to that person wake next to that person it's not a joke it's 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 you know it takes a lot this is why i say it's, it's just you know what you put into it determines what you get from it you, you you get so i don't know man it's just this um there's so many toxicity and then like in the black community this is an observation this is my observation we are very standoffish. We are always, you know, we are always dismissive of ourselves. We are very quick to just put up barriers and, and all that stuff. I've you see a bunch of black dudes, and this is not self-hating. And you just see a guy, it's like you're not meant to be happy. We we live in a, in a time where this is why what I keep talking about, man. Asking you to be caring or putting your best into your relationship is not suggesting that you should be mentally retarded or you should be stupid. Oh, because you're caring should should not doesn't suggest that you should allow a manipulative woman to walk all over you or take you for granted. This is why I said in the video that I made previously, a man that has a woman that loves him, that supports him financially, that believes in your vision, that says, hey man, here is um, uh, 5,000 pounds to start your business, right? It becomes emotional manipulation when you start taking advantage of that woman's emotion. You abuse the fact that she has a soft spot for you. Now, if that woman gets to a point that mentally she's had enough, she realizes you're taking advantage, she can jump ship and say, hey man, I'm done with the relationship. She can move on. People do that all the time. First commandment for men, thou shall not simp. Who made that commandment? First commandment for thou shall not simp. Um, in, um, 
thou shalt not sin. If I look at that definition of the word simpleton, that's a, a foolish. Of course, it shouldn't be foolish. It shouldn't be stupid. It's the same way that people have hijacked the idea of feminism, right? Feminism in the simplest format of it is upholding women's rights. It's not man bashing. It's okay to challenge patriarchy. It's okay to stand up to misogyny. It's okay to to um, it's okay to say no to um, oppression and um, domestic abuse. It's okay to fight for justice. I agree with that, even as a dude. But it's it's not okay to to to, to indulge in misandry because I've met women that have a totally wrong and disgusting interpretation of feminism, and I look at them and laugh. Feminism is not what you make it. There are women who just hate the idea of men's existence, who will just have nothing but toxicity towards men. That's not feminism. I'm sat here. I'm a dude. I'm a feminist. Do I hate men? No, I don't. Looking back at the earlier stages of dating, let me read this. Let me read this. Um, of dating. The nice guy never gets the girl, but the tough, hard guy... I think it's the early concept formed in the guys in the expectation of women from men. Yeah, some of the things, you know, the idea of the, the, the nice guy never gets a girl and stuff. Feminism is based upon the white women struggle. Why don't you think, why do you think it's it's so big in Africa? For people, abusive partners, love and affection towards them, most of them, but when being cold-hearted is not always the way forward. Yeah. So that's that, you know. I don't, I don't, I don't think being a caring man, putting bread on the table, um, working and building wealth with your partner, being a good dad, hanging out with friends and say, "Hey, man, um, I've got to go home. I need to sleep, and so I can." My, my son, my son has a you know football match tomorrow at the park, so I can, you know, I'm I'm leaving home early. I'll catch you guys later. Oh, you're a simp, you know. Your wife calls you and say, hey, baby, can you help us get some groceries and stuff? You know, what happens in Mr. X's relationship? Who are you to dictate and say, oh, the guy is a simple. But if that guy calls you to come in, come in um, hey, Steve, Stephen, oh, I'm fine, brother. Thank you for looking out. To come and pay his bills. Would you go there to pay his bills? So I think there's a huge amount of misconception. And my concern is this words have been heavily bastardized have been uh, wrapped around toxicity i've been abused by a lot of men and um, if you're caring if you're nice to a woman uh, it's you're seen as a simple-minded man you're seen as a man without a spine no uh, look you can be assertive you can stand your ground you can let a woman know your no is your no and your yes is your yes you can be reasonable you can be sensible without being um, a doormat or being walked over. So that's that, that's what I want to say about that, man. What do you guys think? Do you think a caring man is a is a simpleton? Do you think the idea of being a caring man, you know, catering to the affection of your woman, amalgamating your feelings with your woman, building a healthy relationship, building wealth, building business, have being a good dad and all that? Do you think it's something that um, um, a real man needs to move away from to prove a point to the society? Because that's that's where some of these movements on the internet uh, are trying to push us. I agree, but I was thinking about so-called lovers who deceive and manipulate to get something. Facts is true. Da, 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 da. I have a con conversation with soon. Da, 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 da. Women change the expectations of men as they grow older. Most times in the teens, they want the men. This often happens in Christian. A caring man is not a simpleton. Thank you. So on that note, it's your boy Franklin. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Um, I was meant to upload a video yesterday, but life happens. So yeah, I'm coming up with more content this week. If you want to send me an email, if you want to send me an email, if you want me to flesh something out of this topic, send me an email uh, to food channel. 1960 at gmail.com foot channel 1960 at gmail.com and yeah Dara Mola I'm going to work towards doing an IG live whereby people can I might even set up an, a Skype call and have people who are interested in a Skype call and I can record it and even upload it to the channel okay uh thank you for watching send me an email and I'll catch you in the next one peace and love Bye now.